Welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I have this lovely, very romantic kind of pop of blue Valentine's Day look. I think this is perfect for a, for a date, for a first date. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start by priming the face with the Gosh um, Primer. This is just going to help set the makeup, keep it in place and just make it look nice and flawless. And then I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Blur and my Fat, Fat, Fat Top Kabuki Brush, Flat Top. And I'm just buffing this into the skin to create a nice flawless finish. Next up we'll be highlighting with a candy cane puff and also a Revlon concealer and this I'm putting underneath the eyes just to lighten the eye this is going to make her eyes stand out more and then also down the bridge of the nose on her chin and just um, areas that I really want uh, to be highlighted Imagining your pleasure, baby. Next time I see you I'm gonna walk right up to you and say what's Contouring, I'm using Yardley's um, Dark, I think this is Mocha foundation. And with my Candy Cane foundation brush, I'm basically just drawing on where I want her contours to be. And then afterwards, I'll be buffing it out with my flat top Kabuki brush. You gotta feel me. my MAC loose light powder I'm just dusting this over the highlighted areas and thereafter I will be going in with a MAC refined golden bronzer and this will go on top of the contouring areas just to also help set the makeup so the foundation doesn't move during your sexy date <laughs> Mocha from MAC. This is a lovely soft pink. I would say it has a little bit of a blue undertone and this will go perfect with the look because later on we're doing a blue eyeliner. So I'm just blending everything together then applying some highlighter to the top of her cheekbones, her cupid's bow and then I'm moving on to doing her brows. Nothing fancy, just combing them out and filling them in with a little essence brow bar powder. <laughs> After doing the brows you'll notice that I set it with a brow gel. If you don't know what a brow gel is, it's actually a gel that keeps the hairs in place for the whole day. In that shape that you put the eyebrows, it will just help it keep it like that for the duration of the day or even. Don't mean no disrespect but thoughts of you rule my world. I even dream of you. I I'm using Let's Skate Paint Pot from MAC and this has got a beautiful pink shade with some shimmer in it. So the shimmer will just shine through all of your eyeshadows that you'll be using and this is just going to give you a soft romantic kind of look. After that I'm using my Bourjois Pink Glittery um, Eyeshadow. I love this. This is so perfect for brides or anything romantic. 
and then after that I'm just going in with a nice brown and applying that to the outer V area working it into the crease and blending it out you gotta feel me Vanilla pigment I use so much, so I actually apply this with a tapered brush onto the tear ducts and just kind of blending it into that lovely pink that we applied earlier. This will make the eyes pop and make her look more awake and just give it that sexy touch. With antique, I'm just darkening up the crease area and then I'm taking Foley and applying that to the lower lash line. Next time I see you, I'm gonna walk right for the eyeliner, I'm taking this eyeliner by MAC, this is called Waverline and it's almost like a purplish kind of blue and I'm just applying that to the top lash line and also winging it out just a teeny bit. Before we finish off the eyes, I just wanted to apply a little bit of the dark blue eyeshadow underneath her lash line. Kinda Sexy by MAC is a gorgeous colour, it's almost like a nude pink and it's just the right amount of lipstick for a first date or something like that because you don't want to be too bold with red lips, I know Valentine's Day is all about red lips but I mean a guy doesn't really want to kiss you if he's going to have red lipstick all over. Taking one of my new favorite lip glosses by JJ's, this is a light pink shade and I'm just applying that onto the center of the lips, that this will make it more pouty and full and then I'm just finishing off this look with a little bit of mascara and that completes the look. I hope you guys love it, I love how it turned out and please make sure to try it out and yeah, if you're going on a first date, good luck and all the best, bye! Don't know if you got a girl Don't mean the disrespect But thoughts of your room are